hi guys welcome back to my channel today you guys I am doing some deep fried scallops and I have some french fries to go with it I got a range of sauces here um, I still have some of the Be Love Smackalicious seafood sauce so I decided to try it with that I have my Thai chili seafood sauce I made a little bit of a sauce here with some sour cream tahini and fresh lime juice and then I have a little bit of uh, ketchup and Tabasco for my french fries. And just mix that up. What are you guys eating with me? Hopefully, it's something delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm good. To drink, you guys, I have a cherry bubbly. Okay, I'm gonna get, oh, I didn't grab a fork. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I wanna try my sauce first, this little sauce that I made, and this little piece of a scallop. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. So, it was requested that I eat some scallops by Vegas Crew Grubbing. Thank you, you guys, for the recommendation, suggestion, request, whatever you want to call it. Because it's really good. You know, when you're cooking it, when you're deep frying it, so this is, I uh, seasoned a little bit of flour for a dredge. I did an egg wash, and then I seasoned, uh, put it in, rolled it in some seasoned panko crumbs. I did not want to get my hands this dirty, but okay. Um, and then I deep fried it. And it smells like fish sticks when you're frying it, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. You guys, this, um. If you love sauce, it's even better the next day. Mmm. I'm good. Okay, guys. So, this is a QA. and a I'm getting to know you. So I have a few of the questions that were asked of me. Let me just grab those questions. Hold on, let me unplug. Let's see. <laughs> it's funny because I have face ID on this phone, you guys. <laughs> and it really doesn't recognize me with all the makeup on, I guess. I don't know. Okay. What is your name? Is the first question. So. <coughs> My name is Tamiko, pronounced Tamiko, but most people just say Tamiko. Mm. My nickname is Miko, hint Miko Yum Yum. Goodness, okay, this. Closes down quick. How old are you? I'm 42. 42 years old, you guys. My birthday is July 23rd. This black out fast. Mm. I'm good with this Thai sauce, seafood sauce. Where do you live? Mm. I live in Northern California, the Bay Area. Yeah, area. <laughs> um, who, who, who is your favorite? Who, who's your favorite mukbangers? 
So, who's your favorite mukbangers? Um, there's so many of them. Um, my favorite be loves. Um, Yummy Bites TV. Um, Tian Lee, Tian, or she's saying. Sass, and he eats for CP, a whole bunch of them. The people I normally watch, there's like a million more, but that's who I normally watch on a daily. Uh -uh. Lime juice is squeezing everywhere. <clears throat> Let's see, next question. What channels are you subscribed to? I don't know. I probably have subscribed to like, I don't know, maybe like 100 channels. <laughs> it could be less, but I'm subscribed to like B Loves, Sass, ASMR, Any Eats, Weed Up and Reap. I love that channel, you guys. It's a um, family that lives in Arizona in the suburbs, and they have a farm. And majority of what they, you know, eat and stuff is from the farm. They have chickens, goats, uh, tilapia, all types of stuff. Or animals. I love that show, I like Chana. And it makes me want to farm. Although, I'm afraid of most animals. <laughs> um, Q, Eva Q, Eva Q, T and Lee, T and Lee, James and Mark. <clears throat> um, Fred Angie. Zoe got damn Zoe. That's a pretty pure wedding. Casey Connection. I do a couple of uh, beauty channels too. So Jeffree Star and James Charles, Ivy, um, Stephen Tosh. Mm, mm. I was in their live the other night. Off. Oh the hook. It was fun. Um, there's so many of them. Mm. No particular order though. Next question. Okay. I was asked more than once, what do I do for a living? I am a supervisor. At one of the top 10 hospitals in the nation. I have been employed with this hospital. <clears throat> Next month will be 19 years. So yes, I was a baby when I started. <laughs> Full-time job. 
Um. Mm. A lot of perks. You learn a lot of new things. You have the opportunity to mentor and grow people. It's not really a part of the job description or the job requirements, but if you have the opportunity to help someone grow, you should do it. Okay? How did you come across the whole idea of a YouTube channel? Um, I was interested in, I was curious <clears throat> about durian fruit and jackfruit. Um, so before I went to tr to buy it to try, I didn't try durian, but I jackfruit I did try, and I love jackfruit. So before, excuse me, before I went to buy it, I went on YouTube just to kind of research it a little bit. And at this time, I believe it's only I was only subscribed to one channel, and that was Ivy's. Like a beauty channel. Um, so in searching for durian and jackfruit, I came across Nikocado Avocado. And he was eating durian and he was tearing it up. And he made it look so good. And he made it look good. I still wasn't convinced to try it, but <laughs> he made it look good. So I did try the jackfruit though. I was okay with that. Um, from there, I stumbled across Tian Lee, his channel. He's a mukbanger, and I fell in love with the way his, he eats. I'm in love with his lips. They're so plump and full. They're just cute. And like that was the first time I seen somebody like on camera eat some chicken, chicken wings, and clean that bone. Like clean it, clean it. <clears throat> um, like man, even like oxtails and stuff like that. That man can clean a bone. So I uh, watched him for a while, and then stumbled across Be Love's Life. But no, I subscribed to his channel. He was my number two, and. Um, then I stumbled across Be Loves, subscribed to her. She was the third channel uh, that I subscribed to. And then from there, I just started subscribing to other people and watching other people eat um, made me hungry. Like I'm a cook, I like to cook for people. I wasn't so much a eater. Like I would cook food and not really eat, but everybody else would eat. So one day I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna do a seafood boil. It's my second video in my list, you guys. Um, it turned out good. I made my own seafood sauce. Is like what I thought would go good in, in the sauce. I had purchased those ginormous king crab legs. At that time, a lot of people were getting their crab legs from like, um, like the boiling crab or places like that. And they have king crab, but it's not the big jumbo one. So a lot of times, other mukbangers were just eating like the regular king crab legs. Um, but I found at Costco the ginormous ones. So I got a little bit of praise from some really, really big mukbangers about how big my crab legs were. It's kind of just how it started. You know, did one video, did another video. 
I've just been doing it ever since. Um, I enjoy it. <clears throat> um, it's fun. I get to interact with you guys. I get to have some yummy, delicious food. Um, the money help. Our the money is great too. So why not? It is in a way. Um, for some people, it's a hobby, and for some people, it's a job. Um, I look at it as a second job. A second job that I can have fun with and interact with my subscribers. Okay, next question. How did you figure out about the content? Well, kind of same thing. is by watching other mukbangers, and I realized, you know, <clears throat> I get hungry when I watch them. Why not? Um, yeah, probably the same thing. So I also did a little dab with um, beauty, like Epsi bags. But I put that on hold only because I wasn't 100% satisfied with the products that I was receiving. So it's on hold for right now. Mm. Mm -mm. Do you have children? If so, what are their ages? I do not have human children. I have a fur bite baby named Cupcake. She's a Maltese poodle. And I know she'll be on the channel pretty soon. <laughs> She's be acting up, y'all. I can send her bed to bed just now. That's why I have to cut this video. She's crazy. She will be eight years old on the 28th of this month. Do you want any children? Heck no. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I do not want children. Uh, I feel for myself, 42 is too old to start having children. To each his own. More power to you if you decide to do it. But for me, um, I do not, yeah, no, that's too old. Um, I wanted children in the past, like in my 20s. Um, it did not happen. I'm so 100% okay with that. Um, children are great. They're little blessings. I love them dearly, but I would like to send them home to their parents. Um, I think for me, I spent so much time helping raise other people's children that I've already gotten my fix, you know. So, like, if I'm holding a newborn, I I don't get baby fever. I haven't had baby fever since I was in my, my maybe, like, 25, 26. I have not had baby fever at all. They're cute. They smell good. They're soft, you know, all that good stuff. But, yeah, no, take them home. Um, I love children, I do, but <clears throat> I'm good. I have enough nieces and a nephew and a buttload of baby cousins that I can play with. <laughs> um, I do not feel like I'm missing out. I actually feel like, you know, the way I'm lucky. You know, <clears throat> not a big deal for me. Um, I know some people are really concerned about it or have issues with it or whatever, but not me. I've been over it. You know, I told myself, um, I gave myself a timeline. If I didn't have a child by 32, I was not going to have children. Um, and that time came and passed, and I am so okay with it. So okay with it. I like being able to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Don't have to worry about, oh, you know, I can't get up and travel, or I can't do this, or I can't do that, or I need a babysitter, or whatever. Um, I do have my dog, which, you know, she doesn't require a babysitter. Um, 
And for the most part, I'll just take her with me if I want to just up and go somewhere or whatever. Yeah. And dogs don't. Dogs don't go through that horrible, horrible, horrible stage of teenagers. Teenagerism. The teens, terrible. They should call it terrible teens, not terrible twos. Because teenagers are a whole other creature. They're, ugh, make you want to just politely choke them. Um, are you married? No. <laughs> not yet. Um, and have you ever been married? No. I am the type of person that believes that marriage is forever. Um, not that I don't believe in divorce, but I don't think people should, you know, just get divorced because whatever, you know, they fell out of love or whatever the issue is. I think if you're going to marry somebody, you should try to work it out. Now, there are some things that um, I will not tolerate, um, like <clears throat> in a marriage or even not in a marriage, but like, you know, cheating, abuse, things like that. Mm. So, mm. that's all the questions for now. Bit fun. Probably gonna wrap up. This is really good, you guys. Try it. Sour cream, tahini, and lime juice. <clears throat> I'm cold, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Mm. Guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video. <clears throat> Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. On the side of the subscription button is a notification bell. Hit the bell to be notified every time that I upload a video. I want to say thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Welcome to the fam bam. Uh, I want to say thank you to my day ones and my loyal viewers. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. You guys are there in like every single video. Thumbs in and up. Commenting. Giving suggestions. Giving feedback. I appreciate all the feedback regarding the, the um, quality of the sound on some of my recent videos. Um... I have my Yeti here, um, and I wasn't using the Yeti. Then I started to use the Yeti, but didn't have it hooked up right. So um, the change of the microphone. So hopefully the quality of sound is so much better, and you guys are enjoying this content even more. Um, come back and join me for another mukbang, a cook with me, a vlog, or an ASMR video. I truly, 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 truly appreciate you guys. You guys are too good to me. <clears throat> and these scallops are really good. I want to say um, Vegas Crew Grubbin, thank you for the recommendation because these bad boys right here, they are delicious. Nice and crunchy and they smell like fish sticks, but they don't taste like fish sticks. Really good though. I'm going to go ahead and try to freeze up my Bela's Macalicious Seafood Sauce. Since I made so much of it, I think I'm just going to freeze it and use it for another seafood boil or something like, ooh, I should make some tacos. That probably would be really good with it. <clears throat> okay, you guys, I appreciate you. I love you. Come back and join me. Don't forget, thumbs it up. Oh, you can also share my video if you want to with your friends, your family, um, on social media with anyone that you know. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, all under the name Miko Yum Yum. I will see you guys on the next video. Come back. Please come back. I want to see you guys again. I want to talk to y'all again. And I will be going live, but I'm not sure exactly when. I don't know. Timing is just off. Okay. I'll see you guys on the next video. Love y'all. Bye.